Hello friends, welcome to the AI Border Channel. Today I want to introduce you to one of the most complete AI video creation platforms, Catalyst AI. This tool is like a professional studio that gives you everything in one place. You just need to enter your idea, it will write the text and script for you, then it will turn it into a voiceover with a natural voice, and finally it will create ready-made images and videos. That means the entire video production process from start to finish happens inside one platform. But before we go deeper into Catalyst, let's quickly talk about Google's VEO3. VEO3 is one of the most advanced video generation models from Google DeepMind, which focuses heavily on cinematic realism and smooth motion. It's widely recognized for creating very natural transitions and professional-looking short clips. So in this video, our goal is not just to showcase Catalyst, but to put it side by side with VEO3 and see in real examples which one performs better for different tasks. And in order to explain the quality of this tool to you more completely, Completely. In this video, we are going to compare Catalyst AI with Google VO3 and see which one is actually more efficient and why Catalyst, with its agentic workflow, can be a stronger choice for many creators. So stay with me until the end of this video because you will both see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to work with Catalyst AI and also understand how you can very quickly turn your ideas into ready-made videos. <laughs> First of all, let's go to the Catalyst website, and here in the top right corner, you can click on Get Started Now. Now this view will open here, and what we are going to do is go to AI Script Assistant, and I choose something that we can use to create cool images, a school trip to the forest. Then simply click on Generate Script. This takes about 10 seconds, and here's the result. So we have a complete script for nine different frames, and you can edit everything here. So you can click on the pencil button here and change the script, and you can also remove any that you don't like, simply by unchecking the check mark button. But in my opinion, everything is good, so we continue. Another thing you can change here is the size. You can choose a landscape, portrait, or square mode. After reviewing the script, I go to the next page, which is the style section. Now on this page, you can choose from pre-made styles such as sketch, cinematic, oil painting, comic book, cartoon, and other available designs. But I will go with cinematic because I want to compare it with VEO3. You can choose any style you like. Then you need to upload three to five images that will be used used as style references, but I'm going with cinematic. And on this page here, we have the characters, and basically, we can change everything. If you want to change the appearance, you can click here and build from scratch or choose from among the faces available on the website. If you want to change their clothes, you can also do that, and also the voice. We have a lot of voices, and you can choose whichever you like. In my opinion, this is good, so I continue and click on Create Project. Now when you are in this view, it takes about one minute for all the scripts to be extracted, actors placed in different locations, which you can see here. And also for each frame, an automatic prompt is generated. Now after finishing, you can basically customize anything you want. So if we want to change the actors now, we can do it. We can also add new characters. We can see all the locations here. We can add a location or give a different prompt and its appearance will change. So before producing the final videos, and here you can see the video mode, there are two ways to customize. The first one is the storyboard view, where you can change the characters, change the locations, and also change the pre-produced voice. What Catalyst has done is that it has used the frame prompt and then produced a voiceover that you can completely customize and write something new here. You can also change the voiceover voice here and that's it. Now for editing control, let's click on a frame. Let's choose this one. And this is where Catalyst really shines, right? So you have two panels, one on the left and one on the bottom. On the left, you have a character posing tool. Using this tool, you can change the position of characters in the frame. This is very useful because sometimes AI generates an image and you want to move the people, but you cannot. But with Catalyst, Catalyst, we have a very simple solution. So you can simply move the characters, not only their position, but you can double click and you have all these different options here. So you can change, for example, if the boy here points to the bottom of the picture, you can also change their standing posture. So you have all these options here. Now, the second one is the image crop tool. So you can crop the image if you don't like something. Suppose here on the left, it's a bit crowded or the image doesn't look good. You, you can simply crop the image. Now, under the crop tool, you have the generative fill tool. So if you don't like something or want to add something, to the image, you can simply go to the area and, for example, write a simple text so that part is replaced, just like that. And at the end, we have my favorite section called Add an Image, where you can also add an image from your computer. This is the same part where we can compare the results with Veo3 at the end. 
when comparing the two, here's what I noticed. VEO3 usually gives you more cinematic and realistic looking videos with smoother lighting and camera angles. On the other hand, Catalyst is more flexible for creators because it gives you full editing control inside the platform, from character poses to dialogue and scene customization. So if you want a polished cinematic output, VEO3 might be the right choice. But if you want full creative control and fast iterations, Catalyst is clearly ahead. First of all, how should we use this tool to produce these types of videos? At the bottom, this panel here, is the prompt, which you can also change. And again, you have control over the characters who is actually in the frame, the locations, and also from where it is filmed. So you can have close shot, long shot, wide shot, extreme close up, and you can also change the angle of view. For example, filmed from the back, from the side, or directly from the front. And after you customize everything here, you can click on next and Catalyst will generate new frames. So when you are satisfied with the frame, you click on the video mode here. So from the frame, we like we can produce two things. The first one is action, and you can describe the action you want to see. And this will be a five or 10 second video. Now the second option here is to click on dialogue, and you can even make the characters say something. For example, if I want the boy to say, hey, look at this, we click on next and Catalyst will generate a clip where the boy says, hey, look at this. Hey, look at this. So the only thing left is to click on generate for each frame and you will get something like this. Let's go and compare the results of these two tools together. Ready for an adventure, Leo? Let's sneak away. Suddenly, a rare butterfly leads the way. Whoa, it found a secret path. What's your opinion about this tool and the comparison between these two tools? Do you think Catalyst can be one of the main competitors of VO3? In my opinion, this is a proven theory. You also tell your opinion in the comments. It is definitely worth trying, friends. In my opinion, never miss the chance to try it. Right now, you can go to the website with the link in the description and share your new experience with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can benefit from the next videos too. Until the next video, bye-bye. <laughs>